he's basically going to be the nominee. If he loses Ohio, we are going to have an unbelievable time in Cleveland because it'll be a contested convention. Recent polls have Kasich ahead or tied with Trump in Ohio, but Marco Rubio is still trailing by double digits in his home state of Florida. Donald Trump canceled a campaign stop in Florida to hold a rally here in Ohio tonight. For the Democrats, Hillary Clinton is leading Bernie Sanders in all five states voting tomorrow, but Sanders is working to pull in those young voters to deliver another upset. Kenneth Moten, ABC News, Cleveland, Ohio. Happening now, the NCAA trying to find out who is behind a massive March Madness leak. Last night, did you see it? A 100% accurate NCAA tournament bracket hit the internet before it was unveiled on CBS's Selection Sunday show. Now, people were skeptical that the bracket was the real deal until pairing after pairing was proven to be correct. The NCAA says it took all the usual measures to protect against a leak and that it takes the matter very seriously. Well, the water is just now starting to recede in northern Louisiana after devastating flooding just inundated the south over the weekend. Thousands of homes were damaged from the relentless rain and flooding in Louisiana, Mississippi and Texas. Firefighters in Deweyville, Texas, going door to door, evacuating homes there. The Sabine River caused major damage on the border of Texas and Louisiana. Its waters climbing to a record 30 feet, swallowing a railroad bridge. Officials say it could be at least a week until some people will be able to get back to their homes to address any of the damage. Oof. Wow. A mess. And so was that part of the storm system that gave us a little bit of rain or? Yeah, a little bit, kind okay. of an offshoot of it. We haven't had much rain. We're going to yeah. get a little bit tonight, you know, from a little bit of that. But right. uh, the, the air ground zero for the really torrential rains has been the past seven or eight days right along the Gulf Coast. So yeah. that will slowly ease up very slowly over the next few days. For us, a little rain tonight. And, uh, you know, we're still waiting for uh, the sun to come back. And I think Wednesday's our day. We'll get a little bit better okay. with the warm temperatures. So let's give you a look. This uh, Richard Montgomery High School in Rockville. It has not been the most pleasant of days, uh, kind of wet grounds and fields and everything else to go along with the rain, light rain and drizzle. And most of the day, I think will just be cloudy with some patchy fog and drizzle. And that should be that temperatures around the area pretty much holding in the lower 50s right now. And we'll uh, we'll gain a couple degrees, I think. But that's about all we'll gain during the day, I think, is just a couple degrees uh, around the area. So we'll be just fine. Later in the week, uh, temperatures will turn cooler. So we're not quite in a prolonged stretch of spring-like weather yet. That's coming, but not quite yet. Well, we have now 46 in Winchester, 48 degrees in Hagerstown, 52 in Fredericksburg, 49 in Annapolis, a little cooler there, 51 again in the nation's capital. Now, as far as uh, Doppler radar, we're not picking up much, just a couple little sprinkles. And I don't think we'll see much more than that until later tonight, when the little area of low pressure off to the west starts to make a move closer area. Also a warm front we're keeping our eye on. So a couple of players here and what the weather is going to be like. But again, nothing heavy this afternoon. Mostly what you see outside right now is the way most of the afternoon is going to look. If you pull far enough out, see a little brief clearing to the west. And here's an area of low pressure spinning off a little heavier shower activity. We'll watch some of that migrate east towards us. In the meantime, just a cloudy, cool Monday around the area. And that'll be our forecast for the day and for the night. But later tonight, periods of rain likely to develop. We'll hang on to the northeasterly winds. It'll get chilly overnight. Lows 43 to 48 degrees. The forecast for tomorrow will do a little bit better, about 64 degrees. We may see a little glimmer of sun at times, but Wednesday's the day we think will really break out of it. Hit the lower 70s with sunshine. More showers back in the forecast with cooler temperatures in the low to mid 60s for the day on Thursday, St. Patrick's Day. In the meantime, here's the next seven for you. The temperatures go up and then they come back down a bit. You see the numbers. Now keep in mind our average high now is about 55. So uh, kind of compare that to the actual forecast numbers. A little above average today, more noticeably above average tomorrow with the showers at times. And uh, Wednesday, partly sunny 73. Showers redeveloping late Thursday night, clearing Friday. The weekend, kind of a split decision now. Mm. It should be cool, but it'll be uh, partly sunny to mostly sunny on Saturday and showers return on Sunday. Okay. I'm All thinking right. I see some good stuff after the seven day. I'm hoping. It's just not there yet, but yeah, it's coming. If we did like a 14 day, a 14 don't day. give anybody any idea. <laughs> uh, I think you'll see a little bit better next week. Awesome, Doug. Okay. Thank you. Coming up here on ABC 7 News at noon, the Harlem Globetrotter is celebrating 90 years of basketball. Eileen Whalen has a sneak peek of their upcoming shows next. I'm so embarrassed by my deck. Can you help me, Deck Wizard? Take pride in your deck with one call to Deck Wizard, a Wheaton Door and Window Company. Our unique process restores your deck for far less than building a new one. And now during our 70th anniversary sale, on top of our already low prices, take an extra 20% off and customize your deck with a second color for the rails at no addition.